Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do in a video preview of the new release from Lisa Eldridge. She's coming up with new lip colors for the summer 2022. So she's got 10 new beautiful, beautiful lip color shades, seven shades of the luxuriously loosened lip colors and three new shades from the insanely saturated lip colors. Today I'm gonna share with you a preview of this launch. I'm quite excited about it. I hope you are as well. So I'm going to be put, putting photos and next to the shades, I'm going to be talking about all the new shades, uh, sharing you my thoughts, what I think of them, which ones I'll be thinking, picking up. The release is coming out on tomorrow, uh, Friday, 8th of July, 4 p.m. on her uh, website. I'm going to leave her link down below. It's not affiliated. Just to have a look at the shades and things like that to make your decision what you want to get what you don't want to get i also want you to help me uh, choose my shades as well let me know in the comment section which ones you think i should be picking up i'm quite excited about this new release very very intrigued about the shades uh, lisa did a video yesterday and they look all very very beautiful so first impressions of those shades i've not up made up my mind yet which ones i'm gonna be picking but i have my some of my of them that i think it's a definite yes so let's go through each shade uh, show you photos of them what i think of the shades and you can let me know as well your thoughts as well uh also in the end of the video i want to share with you how created this beautiful beautiful makeup look makeup look using lisa eldridge all of them makeup from her line so if you want to have a look how i created this beautiful beautiful makeup look i'll put that in the end of the video but first let's make a start presenting you the new lip colors from her new launch that coming out tomorrow so let's start with the uh, I'm gonna say first of all the seven new luxuriously loosened lip colors so the first one it's called je ne sais quoi it's a described Lisa described it as a warm creamy coral it looks absolutely beautiful uh, it says it's um, a lively shade that manages to brighten the face without being an overly bright shade, which I totally agree with her. It looks so beautiful, so natural, so pretty on the lips. So for me, this lip color, it's a yes. What do you think, guys? It's a, it's a yes or no from you. Let me know in the comment section. I love this shade. It's very, very warm, beautiful coral, but not that bright coral. So it's a beautiful shade, I think, for summer. Uh, not overly bright, but just beautiful, beautiful. Really love this shade, creamy coral. It's really, really pretty, this lipstick. So for me, this one probably it's a yes. Uh, then we go to the second scene, which is called Wonder Wheel. This is described as a juicy popsicle pink shade. It's very vibrant. It's kind of a reddish pink shade. And absolutely love it. It's a beautiful summer shade. It screams summer to me when I look at this shade. So for me, this one, it's a yes, I would say. Uh, because summertime, this is a beautiful pink. I love the shade. I think it's going to look beautiful, perfect for summer. So for me, this is shade, it's a yes. So we've got two yeses so far. Uh, next, let's go to shade number three. That is called Meet Me in Berlin. This is described as a rich tan shade, brown nude. It's absolutely stunning, but for me, I don't wear those kind of colors for the summertime. So I would say, although it's a beautiful, beautiful shade, uh, I would say it's a no for me because I won't think I will wear it a lot during the summertime. And this kind of uh, formula of your lipstick is mostly for summer. I wear it spring and summer. So I would say no to that. Uh, then go to number, say number four, which is called Rosy Cell. This is a light pink shade with a mix of cool and warm undertones. It's a very light pink for my liking, so probably I would say it's a no from me. It's a beautiful shade, don't get me wrong, but I don't think I will wear it as much, uh, as light as pink as that. So for me, I would say this is a no for, for now. Uh, number five, we've got the shade Palacho. It's absolutely stunning, they said. What do you think, guys? It's a beautiful, rich, deep, neutral red uh, lipstick. This lipstick is inspired by the red, red interior palaces in Italy. And absolutely love this color. It's beautiful, red, 
deep red. I don't have anything like that in my collection. Beautiful for summer, I think. It looks absolutely stunning on Lisa and also on the models. This is a, a big yes for me. I absolutely love the shade. Number six, it's called Le Memprise. Le Sorry. <laughs> so this is a soft beige, very wearable shade. This is a maybe for me. I don't wear much of bases, but this looks a bit different. It looks very pretty. Uh, both on models on the side. I also have got an Instagram uh, account, which I put all the lipsticks and most of you, all of you said 100% this is the lipstick you all love. The other ones, you, you had some of them said yes, some of them said no, but this specific um, um, shade, color, color lipstick, everybody said yes, 100%. So this is a maybe for me, guys, maybe. I don't say no, maybe. We'll see. I haven't made up my mind yet. Seven, number seven, let's go to number seven. It's Night Thoughts. This is a dark, sensual, blackberry hue that sweets all skin tones, Lisa says. Uh, I don't wear as much dark uh, lipstick, especially in the summer. So for me, this is a definite no, uh, but it's a beautiful shade if you like those type of colors. But for me, I will say this is a no. So now let's go to the insanely saturated lip colors. It's got three new shades and it's also releasing the other two shades that were already out of stock. So it's gonna release in those. I have not tried this formula, so this is new for me. So definitely I need to try at least one of those lips, I think. I've not tried this formula. So this is, let's go and have a look at the three new shades. Number one, it's called Strawberry Shock, which is absolutely stunning, stunning shade. It's uh, described as a sun-filtered sun red with a punch of uh, pink. It's very bright, it's very energizing shade. It's not too cool, it's not too warm. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. I think it looks absolutely stunning. I love the shade as well. It's perfect for summer. It's a summer, slim summer to me, these colors. So definitely, this is a yes for me, I think, guys. Next, we'll go to the shade called New Wave which is a bold magneta color violet. It's a cool blue undertones. For me, I don't wear those kind of shades, so I would say it's a no for me, but it looks beautiful if you're interested in those type of colors, bright ones. You're gonna enjoy this color, but for me, I don't wear those kind of shades, but it's nice she included a bit of everything, so everybody can enjoy, you know, different kind of colors and, and formulas are absolutely beautiful shade, but it's not for me something I'm gonna be wearing. So I will say no for that. And last shade we've got, it's uh, called Sunday Matinee. It's a beautiful, soft, pouty pink shade, medium pink shade with a hint of warmth. It seems very, very wearable, very easy to wear. It reminds me a little bit of the velvet uh, pet petal. Uh, velvet petal that came last uh, remind me a little bit of that one but it looks pretty very wearable so this is a maybe yes for me um i'm thinking maybe i'll get one of the insanely saturated lip colors but my favorite i think it will be the strawberry shock i think what do you think guys let me know as well what do you think but that one looks beautiful as well so maybe maybe it's a yes so we'll see so this is all the new shades on the new lip colors from lisa eldridge coming up Tomorrow, releasing at 4 p.m. on her site. Leave all the details down in the description box. You can have a look at the shades. Let me know your thoughts, what you think, which ones are you interested, which ones you want me to review as well. I told you my thoughts. I haven't made up my mind yet which ones I'm picking. I just gave you a rough, a rough idea, my first impression of the shades when I've looked at your video yesterday. They're really, really beautiful, all of them. Beautiful, beautiful lips and all of the formulas. Uh, I'm wearing today one of your lipsticks. So if you want to see how I created this beautiful makeup look, look using this edits, stay tuned and let's go and do the application how I created this beautiful makeup look. Thank you guys. For this look, I'm mixing the Elevated Glow Highlighter in Cosmic Rose with her foundation, her Elevated uh, found seamless skin foundation in the shade number seven. So I'm mixing the Cosmic Rose, which is a rosy gold toned highlighter that is beautifully complements my skin tone and mixing it with a foundation that gives me this beautiful glowy makeup look. 
Uh, the Elevated Glow Highlighter is designed to amplify luminous glow to your skin. So you can mix it, you can put it as a highlight on your high points. But for now, I'm mixing it with a Seamless Skin Foundation, which I absolutely love. This foundation is formulated with skin-friendly ingredients. It has a customizable medium coverage that can be dialed up and down. It's self-setting. It blends effortlessly to smooth and unify the skin with a noticeable soft focus effect. The formula contains a natural mesh-like ingredient which completely fuses the skin after blending. And the final finish is neither dewy or flat, but sometimes something like skin-like and in between. And because I want to have a glowy look today, I'm mixing it up with a level glow highlighter. I love the finish of this beautiful look. Highlighting my, my cheekbones, I use the Elevated Glow a highlighter in the shade Pink Moon, which is a beautifully rosy luminance color. It is designed to add a luminous glow to the high points of my face while delivering some serious skin benefits and a subtle lifting, tightening and smoothing effect. This uh, highlighter has lots of small, multicolored simmering pearls in a sheer, lightly tinted and skin adaptive base and the level of shimmer you can dial it how much you want to put you can put a small dot or you can build it up to the desired level of glow you prefer so that's amazing and the shade is beautiful this rosy color uh it's cool toned pearly pink pop from the highlight i love how it looks on my skin it's so so pretty one of my favorite highlighters from her this one is my favorite so far my eyes, I use here Liquid Eyeshadows in Angelica. It's a beautiful toppy shade. It's absolutely stunning. So apply it uh, with the applicator and then I use a brush to apply it all over. Or you can also use your fingers if you want or a brush. I'm using a brush on this specific uh, look I'm creating today. This gives you a very beautiful wet look finish with adorable sign that disco kind of diva dreams effect. It's absolutely stunning on the eyes. Absolutely love the shade, love how it looks on the skin. It, it blends beautifully, seamlessly blendable shade. Uh, contains this kind of a mirrorable blend of multicolored pearls that dance across the lids. Absolutely stunning. I haven't seen any anything more beautiful than this liquid eyeshadows. Love the formula. Love how it glitters. Not the glitter. It's a chic, effortless, beautiful look. It's so, so pretty. It's wearable even during the day, but you can also build it up for during the night. One shade and go, you're, you are ready to go. Just absolutely stunning on the eyes. Absolutely love. And this shade is, it's a dream. It's beautiful. For my cheeks, I'm using here blush in pink poetry. This is a beautiful pink. So how I usually take some out and then pop some on my cheeks with my fingers and blend with my finger uh, all over. I uh, absolutely love this pink shade, gorgeous blush. Uh, the blushes are discontinued at the moment uh, because they had a lot of issues with the packaging. Uh, but I think they're coming back in 2023 probably with a different packaging, I'm guessing, because that was the fail of this kind of lacy head. Uh, the packaging was creating a lot of prob problems. So I think they're going to be changing the packaging or maybe the formula, I don't know. But definitely they're coming out. They said in, when I asked the Lisa Eldridge team, they said they're coming back in 2023. So that's good. So now I'm applying it with a finger and then I go around through it with a brush just to blend everything in and looks absolutely stunning. So guys, this is how I created this beautiful makeup look. Thank you for watching until the end uh, and show you how I created this look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up. If you did, leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and give your votes there as well. I've got the lipsticks all over there as well on my account. And uh, I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.